Now let's have a look um, one of the parts uh, the components. They are indeed of uh, very high quality for the, for that time. The silvery capacitors are polystyrene dielectric. Um, they are one percent uh, tolerance on the value. These black resistors are one percent uh, resistor, and the longer ones are actually 0.5 percent resistors so but i guess they were um, very expensive in uh, in the early 70s but um, it's to be understood because the um, transmitter and receive signals on these modems are not uh, derived from uh, um, a crystal oscillator and so um, precision of the components is uh, really important in this kind of circuits because the tolerances on the frequencies uh, must be very tight like uh, plus or minus 6 Hertz on uh, every tone uh, in the FSK modulation so indeed very nice uh, construction and good quality components even these uh, electrolytics are mm, still okay um, measured by my ES ESR meter they are still uh, quite in good shape surely reverse engineering all the schematic is a long process it took a week worth of uh, evenings uh, but uh, now I know what the various uh, trimmers do like for example the plus 5 uh, supply for, for the logic gates for the few logic gates uh, is uh, set by this trimmer which is on, on board number 3 so now I can uh, set up correctly the plus 5 Yeah, another thing uh, that is important is the data carrier detect um, on the serial port is disabled. I mean, it's uh, uh, stuck in the asserted level because this point has been connected to minus 12, so this transistor is always. Um, open uh, i mean it's always closed so the current flow here and plus five goes to the via yeah, this resistor to the dcd uh, line uh, and plus five to dcd is uh, dcd present asserted regardless of the actual carrier detect logic level uh, which is um, um, made another part of this circuit Okay, I reverted the mode uh, to the uh, DCD line uh, indication. Now the modem is powered on and data carrier detect is zero because there is no carrier received of course. If I power off the modem, uh, you will see clear to send and data set 3D signals that will go to zero because they are, as I just turn it off okay they are um, connected uh, with resistors to uh, one of the power rails so when uh, you shut uh, off the modem when you turn it off you have to send and data set 3d will be the asserted and if I turn on again they go but bought to one again a certain state so this CD should work we'll see when I start to feed signals yeah, I assembled the 
all the secrets together added this a bit of form with some slots uh, to keep the um, various part uh, as still as possible because I don't want to again damage the the connector on the on the motherboard and so it's ready to power on with all the boards um, I have uh, this setup for uh, telephone line equipments and modems I can receive uh, the tone transmitted from the uh, acoustic coupler um, getting it directly from the uh, speaker driver and I can generate tones and uh, inject with this uh, sp speaker in uh, directly on the microphone of the, the acoustic coupler when you need it so okay let's power on okay the unit is uh, outputting at home the instrument says it's uh, 985 hertz which if we have a little piece of paper if we check originate tx channel 9080 so it's uh, five hertz off it's transmitting one but um, it should because that uh, should be the uh, that um, no signal uh, tone but the problem is that as far as I know V21 uh, let me turn down the volume uh, as I said as far as I know uh, V21 modems should not output the originate um, tone without a carrier so I have to check the schematics if this is uh, as intended to uh, continuously output the tone I will bring this back to 9080 which is the nominal tone frequency of the originate channel so this modem of course is all originate only but it's a V21 standard modem so far so good so according to my schematic one of these two uh, should be um, the mark uh, and order the space for the TX uh, uh, channel so I will try to bring uh, the frequency to 980 first of all ok first step is um, the TX uh, frequency when idle is 980 now I uh, can try to um, inject some serial uh, signals on the TX uh, uh, pin and see if this changes uh, to the zero frequency when I transmit at zero it should be 1180 originate TX channel and by the way the trimmer for the one uh, tone was this one so this one should be uh, the trimmer for for the zero tone I will discover shortly so let's make uh, a test on uh, uh, transmitting uh, the other frequency okay so far um, leaving uh, the TX, uh, txd data input on the serial port open or like I did in this case connecting via a small dropping resistor to the minus 12 supply which is there uh, give the 1980 tone 
which as we have seen is the one in originate uh, in the originate channel of uh, the V21 FSK modulation and yeah, minus 12 is correct for uh, one on the serial port so now if I switch uh, this connection to the plus 12 I should get uh, another tone because I'm, it means I'm uh, transmitting at zero on the serial port so let's see Okay, now I connected the plus uh, 12 to the um, input of the serial uh, um, the serial port and we have 1186 Hz which is close enough to 1180 well that's my zero uh, it seems a six but it's a zero so what I had to do I hope is to set the other uh, transmit trim uh, and bring the frequency back to 1180 okay so far so good 1180 um, now I will remove the connection uh, to the uh, uh, RS232 port and try to transmit making a loop on the current loop interface it should go on the zero transmit frequency too okay still the zero frequency but now I prove it that the current loop interface works and that I reversed the engineered the connection in my schematic uh, correctly so if I remove the loop uh, it should go on the one uh, transmit frequency as it did so another concern I had was about the fact that uh, the modem is continuously outputting uh, the originate uh, uh, transmission while actually the V21 standard um, should allow the originate modem uh, to transmit once the answering modem has uh, been heard I mean the carrier has been uh, from, from the answering modem has been heard but uh, this is uh, not designed to do that um, I checked the, my schematic and um, this board the number 4 uh, which contains the oscillators the two transmit oscillators and uh, line level uh, trimmer this black one um, goes directly on pin 1 where I'm getting the the audio and this pin goes directly with this uh, white coaxial cable uh, inside to the directly to the, the speaker so there is no way to uh, interrupt the carrier generation uh, uh, not, not surely depending on uh, on the remote carrier being heard or not this is continuously transmitting um, I hope the answering modem the modern answering modem don't don't get confused when uh, I will try to establish a connection with this uh, acoustic coupler it, it is not even easy to uh, to make such uh, modification in, in, in case but um, we'll see when uh, it's time to make the actual test with another modem now the TX part looks quite uh, working well now let's go to the receipt part